Hey champ, I'm Mark Kisslingbury. This is the Magnum Steno Club and it is Wednesday, February 18th, 2009. This is an instructional video called The Zone. You may have heard of The Zone, hearing athletes talk about it, saying that if they're able to get into The Zone, that is when they are best able to achieve the high performance that they so seek in their competitions. We too can get into a zone, during our practice especially. You want to get used to getting into the zone, whatever the zone is for you. If you want to know how to get into the zone for you, it involves this type of high-speed practice and concentration of a type you've never achieved before. The type of concentration where you drown out other voices and other thoughts. The court reporter, when working on difficult high-speed material, has your brain working very hard. Every new word gives you a new thought, possibly how do I write that. Then you get thoughts as to how well you're doing. Am I going to drop? Did I drop? Am I concentrating hard enough? Am I staying right on the speaker? Oh, I'm getting a little behind. Oh, I should brief that. Hey, I'm doing pretty well. These are voices, examples of voices, and there are many other things that can be said in these voices that you will hear when you're practicing. You want to learn to drown out the voices or don't listen to them as little as possible. You want your concentration to be so intense that rarely do you go off track. When you're really in the zone and when you're really concentrating, by the time the test or practice is over, you almost don't realize you were in the zone. You just don't remember anything. When I finish having concentrated very well, I don't really remember anything. In fact, when I transcribe some things that I've written when it was very difficult, I'm surprised that I don't really remember writing that. Some of the difficult parts I might remember, and then again I might not. It depends on how difficult it was. Have you ever had that happen when you're writing along in a job and maybe you're daydreaming, or it's so difficult that you're trying to keep up either way? your mind was on something else, not what was being said, and then you, you are asked to read back. And you read back, and you do fine, but you don't remember ever writing it. I've had that happen quite a few times. Well, generally you were in the zone, especially if you were writing hard material. So, where is your zone? What does it feel like? That's something you want to be constantly seeking, as men have sought for the fountain of youth over the centuries but have never found it. The zone has been found, however, by intrepid explorers. You, as an explorer in the court reporting world, deep in the recesses of our brains, seeking the high levels of court reporting concentration, you can find the zone. So, when we do this practice, each day, the high-speed practice, I want you to try to follow all the instructions I've told you on how to practice this way, you know the drill. Staying on the speaker, getting a stroke for everything, giving 100% concentration, feeling that you made approximately the right stroke. All these are victories if you achieve any of them, and especially all of them. The more of them you achieve, the closer to the zone you are. But remember, to also try not to listen to the voices and try not to make the voices. Just concentrate and stick with it. Your mind is going to think things. It's going to think on its own. Almost like a dream, a dreamland. In a dream your mind goes where it wants. Sometimes when we practice the mind goes where it wants. But there's a part of your mind that you can keep on the task at hand trying to survive and strive for each of the goals that, that I have instructed you on. The rest of your mind may wander or think this or that about the story being told. That's fine as long as you keep your concentration. You will soon begin to discover that you will go in and out of the zone and hopefully eventually mostly in the zone. All right? I'd love to hear back from you on your experience in this. You are becoming a top reporter, one of the best in the country. Did you know that? If you haven't taken the Certificate of Merit, if you haven't taken the real-time test, 
I urge you to go for it. You're getting so fast and so good that it's going to become easy for you. In fact, if you get used to this Magnum Steno Club practice every day, you'll find the Certificate of Merit to be a piece of cake, especially if you can learn to get into the zone. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.